Hey folks, welcome to another weapon guide. This time I'm going to be dealing with the axe. I know I'm wielding a hammer, but axe and hammer have the same moveset, so I'm going to call it the axe. Now, with the axe, it gets a reputation of being one of the slowest weapons in the game, and yeah, it is certainly very slow. But for what it lacks in speed, it by far makes up in power. Its power moves, which pretty much what it's based on, are crazy. You've got abilities like Lumber Chop, which just shred enemies. You've got hard-hitting abilities like Heaven and Earth, um, even abilities like Bear's Bane. It, that's what the axe is about. You've got probably, I think, the most key damaging ability in the entire game, which staggers literally anything. I mean, literally anything at full charge. Bosses, you name it. You get that third hit of off from a fully charged rampage. It does a whopping amount of key damage, and it staggers enemies. Uh, but there are many different tools that you can use to speed up the gameplay, but I don't want to necessarily talk about them right now. I want to illustrate that despite its variety in terms of raw moveset, there are all sorts of tools that you can use in order to really, really hammer opponents down. Pun absolutely intended. If you may notice right now, before I get into the power moves, there are sheathed abilities that you can use so that can kind of facilitate access playstyle. So, for example, you can boost your defense and get stagger immunity, which is huge, but you just move slower. So speed isn't necessarily the biggest focus. Um, but if you want to keep certain things going, like abilities like Mad Spinner, you've got abilities like Battle Focus. So you don't necessarily dodge as much, but and you can't. Sorry, you consume a lot more key when dodging, but you can keep certain abilities from costing too much key. And with Mad Spinner, this can become hilarious. And then there's Rage, which is, hey, guess what? Boost your damage, but the amount of key used when attacking, which does support the Mystic Art as well. So the Mystic Art for the Axe are as follows. Massively boost the damage of attacks that reduce your key to zero or below, which now you've got a way to boost your damage. You've also got, hey, you're in the Yokai Realm. And then you've got this, which is pretty handy. So yeah, I don't even know which one I'm using. Intensity? Okay. Um, if you have things like Izanami's Grace, then you don't really want to dispel Yokai know, Realms anyway. And if you have a ton of key regeneration, it won't matter. So you can play around and build around a lot of the supposed weaknesses for the Axe. But now let's talk about the power moves. So if you take a look, I don't actually use any of the sheathed abilities, which I just don't really feel the need to in all honesty. But you can if you like them, and they're certainly pretty cool. Well, let's just start talking about these power moves. The moves like Lumber Chop, I mean, let me just show you what they can do against human opponents. All right, this is easier if I show you. Sure, it takes a while to charge, but I send them flying back for a knockdown. Um, you can do a quick charge of it, which will have the same effect, but the super long charge got actually buffed in that you actually will slightly move forward now. I'll have to showcase this to you. So, fully charged Lumber Chop. Oops, whiffed that pretty badly. Quick charge Lumber Chop works. Assuming he has key. Get up. Oh my god, am I <laughs> gonna just kill him? Get up, please. So, yeah, quick charge Lumber Chop you can use if you just want to get the knockback. But let me show you the difference between quick charge Lumber Chop in terms of raw distance moved. Alright, so quick charge lumber chop, barely move at all, and then stage two fully charged lumber chop, you will move a considerable distance forward. Alright, so bear that in mind. So quick charge, if you just want quickly to knock back a target, long charge, if you know you can get away with it. It's really handy, and I take advantage of it in many different scenarios. And what's nice is that even with a light armor target, you get a lot of hyper armor on various abilities. And so it can be really nice. Yeah, that's one great thing about the axe is that many abilities have hyper armor. But yeah, definitely take advantage of it. I'm even... Nice. So yeah, hyper armor, a lot of powerful moves, and there's a lot of risk to it, but it's a weapon that you certainly will feel 
pretty good about if you can manage that risk. And of course, if you're a tanky character, it makes it a little easier, but I play Axe with light armor and get away with it very frequently. There's, yeah, so you've got moves like Rampage, which I'm going to talk about how awesome they are. Rumbling Earth, which just hits pretty much everything around it, which is really quite good. Um, Earth Carver is the fastest amongst the whole triangle abilities, and it doesn't sport the most range, which is a bit unfortunate, but it can be really handy with one huge thing that got added to the axe, all right, which can really speed the weapon up, um, which is Spinning Slide. So... Spinning slide actually can take advantage of pre-shifting, so it's saying parry the enemy's attack, move to their side, and by the way, does this this does work on many yokai attacks and projectiles too, which is kind of funny. And then you hold triangle to relieve the active skill map to that button with high power, so it's just basically speeding up the charge time, so you can get to full charge remarkably quickly. So lumber chop, right? That's how long this takes, fully charged. Now I'm going to use spinning slide in mid stance. And you can pre-shift, by the way. Come on. Boom. Quickly charged, huh? Pretty rad. Normally in mid-stance I have Rampage. Oh yeah, look at that hyper armor, by the way. Rampage is ridiculous, alright? But let me show you with Spinning Slide what it's like. Noticeably faster. It's still missed. Not that time, though. Alright, let's knock him down. And let me show you... Oh, come on. He, I forget. They have hyper armor during that, too. Whatever, dude. Get out of here. Okay. Let me show you with Earth Carver. I'll show you with every other move. Earth Carver is that. Doesn't have the most range. But let me show you what happens with Spinning Slide, how fast it can become. So Spinning Slide's really good, even though it's a little weird to use at times. Near instant, right? They're pretty good. Unfortunately, my character doesn't have the most toughness, so he is going to get staggered. But yeah, that's like a near instant counterattack. All right. Satisfying Lumber Chop? Yes, you bet. So being able to pull off a lot of these high power moves just feels downright satisfying. But you have things that can speed it up, like Spinning Slide. Everything gets sped up, and again, if you stance switch during the little slide animation, you know, just during that quick little, sorry, slide animation, nope. Slide animation! Switch stances during that, you can do whichever whole triangle you want. That's why I was able to do Lumber Chop. That's why I could do Rampage. And that's why I could do Earth Carver. Let me just show you for, I guess, comedy's sake, what a low stance Mad Spinner will be like with Spinning Slide. So that's quite a lot of charge up time, right? To get to that. Well, let's show it to you with Spinning Slide. The so pre-shift, of course. Come on, do it right. You can get to the quick charge reasonably, which ain't too bad. Ah, <laughs> that would have one shot me. Wee! Lumber chop! Dare you? Versus say trying to go into mad spinner without any charge time. But okay. That's enough about spinning slide. Let's show you some other things, which I know I kind of just kind of debuted. I have a weird habit of wanting to wipe away the blood. I don't know why. But okay, let's let's show you another thing that involves uh, pre-shifting. I'll put Rumbling Earth back on. I can always change it later. So you pay attention to what I have mapped in low stance. I have Cloud Crush, right? And I've got High Kick in mid stance. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in low stance and then you can pre-shift during the attacks to sequence into mid stance combo enders. All right, so All right, so you're going to see that and then I'm going to actually do the high kick. So this is what it is normally. But let's pre-shift. 
and voila, you could pre-shift during this animation so you can be faster if you'd like. Um, let's see if the converse works. Fortunately, no. They're pretty rad, isn't it? And for whatever reason, you can even go to high stance to try to pull things off and just continue the attacks. But it's just kind of weird how you can do that. So there's some tech for you. Basically, you can pre-shift to do the combo enders. Now, the reason I believe this works is because you can actually assign high kick into mid or low stance. So let's test that theory with abilities like southpaw. Can I start in mid stance and then sequence into low stance southpaw? Let's find out. There's yes. Kind of neat, huh? Well, of course, requires some fast fingers, but it's possible, and it's kind of neat. Um, I like Cloud Crush over uh, Southpaw simply because you can throw enemies with Cloud Crush, which is just hilarious. But and then High Kick is just faster. Hide Hide Kick into High Kick and a Tide Bringer, I think that's what it's called, or Tide Breaker. What's it actually called? I don't know. Uh, no, where is it at? Yeah, Tidebreaker. I just like Tidebreaker because it's fast and there's a lot of forward motion, which is something I like with the axe. But Southpaw does, I believe, a reasonable amount of key damage and break as it is. So, it's not a bad option. It's just, again, they compete and I'm going to take the thing that I like that is a little faster and it's a matter of preference. Yeah, we got some pre-shifting tech for the axe. Well, another thing with the axe is that it... The attacks in low stance and mid stance don't even get blocked like whatsoever. I mean, on top of having hyper armor, I can just go through and not give a single crap. Uh, low stance is a little different. All right, I need you to start blocking, buddy. Low stance is a little different, but you can remedy that by doing a dodge attack in low stance, and then every other successive hit in low stance will not get blocked. God dang it, get back up, please. Come on, let me show it off. Okay, I just need you to start blocking. I'm blocking, buddy. Okay. See how the second hit didn't get blocked? God dang it, man. You will not block enough. Please get up. Please. Look at that. The evasion attack doesn't get blocked. So I can just chain into low stance without any trouble. And then throw him away like a piece of trash. Here, I dare you. Oh, <laughs> the dare didn't work out. All right, go away. Okay, so there is, so Axe is basically never at risk of being deflected. Whatsoever. I need to deflect this blood though. That, that is absolutely essential. So, what else with this lovely Axe? Now you may have noticed that I'm using Spirit Storm, but I've got Spinning Slide. Now Spirit Wind is cool, and it works on basically any attack, any yokai attack. I'll actually showcase Spinning Slide as well. But the reason why I use Spirit Storm is as follows. Now normally, when you see Spirit Storm, you're like, holy cow, what's my end? What's my lag time? I can't even keep pulse the darn thing. But I did it out of force of habit, but you can actually just dodge right out of it. You can dodge cancel it. Now look at that, I can do that. I can just go into a cloud crush. So you can just dodge right out of it. Go into whatever the hell you want. Like that. Or that. Alright buddy, I'm for you to take the nap. Take a nap. So yeah, right after Spirit Storm, you can dodge right after the success will hit to just chain into whatever you like. So don't underestimate that. And I mix it in with pre-shifting, so I don't do the mid stance dodge, so I do the low stance dodge, but you saw me do the high stance one. Let me demonstrate this again. Knock him back. Going for a cloud crush. Cool, huh? Try it again. Also, what is the timing on that, by the way? Basically, on reaction. Like, 
you think you're about to get hit, do it like the last possible moment. You can actually delay it significantly. Okay, look at that, I can do it early. I just need to get hit somehow. Or like right as I'm about to get hit. It's super generous. It is one of the most generous parries in the entire game. Um, I actually neglected to mention that Bracing Breeze falls into that category, but I will uh, when I do another spear guide. Because I still gotta cover parry timings in general. But with the axe, not really a concern. So, uh, that reminds me, I neglected to mention the timing for spinning slide. Uh, spinning slide timing is basically timely guard timing. It's exactly the same as that. Um, so phantom timing. The phantom timing and spinning slide timing are basically the same. Hit me! Try to hit me! So yeah, it's just a simple tap and then you'll reposition. Uh, spirit wind timing is so much more... Sorry, spirit storm is like easiest parry to pull off so you're not gonna have to spend too much time with it it's like okay i think i'm gonna get hit reasonably somewhere and then you'll just deflect it as long as the hit's gonna connect during like this whole animation you're good to go so it's really telegraphed don't be too early but yeah it's a lot more generous than spinning slide because with spinning slide you can sometimes go into a block with Spirit Wind, you basically have, like, next to no risk. And see, just like that, you can take advantage of pre-shifting. Now let me demonstrate um, Spinning Slide against Yokai enemies. Now, right there, I just showed how much range Rumbling Earth has. But Spinning Slide does work on Yokai enemies. Spirit Wind does, but Spirit Storm will not. So I'll try to do it with Spirit Storm. It's not gonna work. I'll just try to block. See, he just went into a block. All right, but now let me demonstrate spinning slide. See, it worked even on that kick. Look at that key depletion, man. Isn't that nutty? Oh yeah, and if you didn't believe me about the rampage dagger, let me just showcase it and the key damage on top of it. Daggered. It's so silly. <laughs> Look at that key damage, man. Oh, and if you think I put Masterful Slice on it for the extra key damage, you'd be wrong. But it's even dumber with Masterful Slice. It doesn't even need it. It doesn't need it. Rampage doesn't need Masterful Slice. It does so much key and staggers anything. You can stagger bosses with it. Do not underestimate it. It is ridiculous. But right. Again, Spinning Slide can be used against many yokai attacks. Many of them. So anything... It, it, it does take a bit of practice, but anything that kind of looks like a melee attack of sorts, it does kind of work. Uh, so there are many exceptions to this rule. As you saw, that kick. I could work it with that kick. Um, but but it's kind of a test. And then one of the weaknesses with Spinning Slide is that sometimes the another follow-up attack can kind of mess with you. So you do kind of have to plan it. It doesn't straight up shut down an enemy. But if you can work with it, it's really nice. And again, let me show the key damage of Rampage. The half key. Oh yeah, hyper armor. If you can first hit gets hyper armor. Nice, nice amount of key, dude. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. Try it again. Hey, you wanna get staggered? Look at that. Look at that staggered. Staggers a yokai. Staggers anything if you go for the risk. It's so cheap. It is absolutely cheap. In fact, I think one of my videos about, I think of making a build, I showcase just like Gozuki loops with Rampage against an enemy that's purified, and there's just nothing they can do. But all right, let's talk about a few other things with the axe before I revisit this. Um, in all honesty, axe doesn't, the, the biggest thing with the axe is going for the risk and you're getting so much reward. There are a few abilities which speed it up. Um, I would say abilities like um, Spinning Slide, of course, really work in that favor. But recently, Stone Mallet got boosted. Uh, Stone Mallet and Roar, I believe, got got boosted in terms of speed. So they're pretty good, too. So Stone Mallet is really good at key breaks. Force an enemy to block. Stone Mallet. 
As soon as they start blocking. Oh yeah, you can also make knock them down too with Stone Mallet. And you you may be surprised to know that you can actually loop enemies utilizing Stone Mallet. You may not believe it, but Ren Hayabusa is one of those enemies. And I will of course link that video for you guys to see, because it is wild. Thank you, Hyper Armor. Weesh, woo, woo. All right, last thing I want to talk about with the axe for this video is the dodge, dodge attacks. So axe, of course, is a slower weapon. But how? what are some things you can do? What are little tricks that you can use to kind of speed up gameplay aside from spinning slide? All right, so you see low stance, sorry, mid stance strongs. They're pretty slow. But one thing I like to do is just do an evasion attack into a strong. Not too slow. Yeah, like just mid stance. It works pretty well for me. So here, I'll just show you the relative speed. Not bad, right? And then I can go into that. Oh, wasn't that gross? That feels kind of fast for a weapon you may have thought was kind of slow, right? And of course, I've already demonstrated the value of doing the evasion attacks for low stance cloud crush. If I can pull it off! So yeah, try that out. So you've got a bunch of different things that you can do. You've got a diff whole bunch of like hyper armor, a lot of tricks to speed up the weapon, and it really feels great when you can land like a fully charged rampage or a fully charged rum lumber chop. Oh yeah, high stance strong is pretty good for horn breaks. Look at that key damage. Look at that range. It's just comical. All right, get into reposition. Go for a fully charged lumber chop. Yo, hey, I'm at range. Nice key you have there. Boosh. Rumbling Earth, because I can get away with it. Lumber Chop, because I can also get away with it. Like, it's just... Once you start to get accustomed to taking this risk, it's remarkable what you can pull off with it. So, yeah, don't be afraid to go for those high-risk power moves, because once you start getting comfortable with them, you'll almost cackle with maniacal delight at how cheap this weapon can be. And last but not least, um, if you may be still doubting the power of the axe, I've actually pulled off a pretty hilarious win with uh, Tat against Tate Abushi. It's in one of my uh, PC VODs, but I've used the axe against Tate Abushi with resounding success. So don't doubt this weapon. It is hilarious. It is the meme worthy weapon in my book. And I'm sure once you start to grasp the idea to go for risky plays, and you feel the reward and you feel the power of the hit, this weapon is a bona fide blast. I think it's one of those weapons that's one, once I start playing with it, I don't really feel the need to play a second weapon with it because it's so fun. But of course, uh, whenever you do mix in a second weapon, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully that helps shatter whatever preconceptions you have with this weapon. It is bottom line, a powerful, very powerful weapon. You go for the high risk, you get a ton of reward, and it is just a blast to play. And of course, you have things to speed it up, which just makes it feel like a complete weapon. I personally wish there were more moves that I could mess with. I would want to be able to use Mad Spinner on top of everything else. I wish we had L1 Square abilities, but of course, there are skill mods uh, that the Neo Community Discord has made, which just really helps make this weapon feel more complete. And I'll have to talk about other things that you can do to assist this weapon, but that, in all honesty, just focusing on the identity of it being a real powerhouse and hitting like a truck will greatly assist you whenever you choose to play this weapon. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this guide was helpful, and do a backflip, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>